So today I'm going to be doing an empties and these are going to be all the products which I have emptied, finished, used, yep. Yeah, I'm going to get straight started and show you guys what I've been liking and what I've not been liking and then I can um, throw, <coughs> and then I can throw these bottles away. Some of these products are actually not products which I have fully used up but I'm actually going to be throwing away because um, it's just old makeup which I know I have not used for about a year and I'm not going to use anytime soon. Starting with the non-makeup products, um, so the first thing is this Dove Hair Therapy Damage Solution Intensive Care Conditioner. Um, this is just a Dove conditioner and I bought this for no particular reason but I did like the fact that it was damage solution and intensive, intensive repair. I know that these things don't always actually repair your hair because once it's damaged it's damaged but it definitely feels very hydrated and I don't have damaged hair it's very very hydrating and every time I use this my hair felt really really soft I have naturally natural hair like my hair underneath the weave is natural so I love products which are hydrated because my hair naturally is not very um doesn't have a lot of moisture naturally so I do like to use products which will hydrate my skin and I thought this worked really really nicely. Um, I didn't think it was like exceptional, it didn't blow my mind away but I probably would repurchase this. Next thing is this Essentials, Boots Essentials Moisturising Cream um, which is in the cucumber like scent. Um, I really like this. I love, love, love this. This is like my holy grail moisturiser. I use this at night. I use this on my cheeks because um, for some reason this past six months I have been getting extremely dry cheeks. So um, I love this. It's £1.50. I would definitely recommend it. Then I have this Garnier Micellar Water um, which is a makeup um cleanser every time i do an empties this is always guaranteed to be in there because i go through like i go through these like nothing other and i always repurchase them i love these because i'm not gonna lie i sometimes i don't wash like go into the bathroom and actually physically wash my face but i find that with this it takes off all my makeup like literally everything um and it's i always buy this on sale because every time i go to buy it, it's always on sale i've never ever ever bought this full price and it retails for three pounds well retails for four pounds but i always buy it for around three pounds um you get 200 uses this literally takes up everything waterproof my mascara everything if you want to know what i think about it I will link that skincare video down below where I talk about this in more detail. Then I have also used this Palmer's Cocoa Butter formula for dry skin. It softens, it claims to soften, smooth and relieve dry skin. 24 hour moisture, smooth marks and tones skin. I used to use this when I was younger. Like I used to love this when I was younger and this was like like my my just this was my scent i literally just smelled of cocoa butter but honestly i used this and i didn't think it was that amazing that i felt like my skin was dry within hours like my because i have very very dry body skin and i thought i would try this um this doesn't leave my i don't feel hydrated for 24 hours it smells nice it is fast absorbing i won't yeah it definitely is fast as absorbing um super for eczema prone skin it smells nice and that's about it i definitely won't repurchase this i know what works for me and i know what doesn't work for me it's not like this is bad but if you don't have very dry body skin then yeah you can go for it but if you do don't bother my last body product is something that i actually finished yesterday and you guys know if you have been with me for a while then you'll know i absolutely love these body shop body butters these are like my holy grail and i always buy these when they're on sale so recently i bought four for 16 pounds which is just amazing when these actually retail for about 12 pounds each um the one that i use is the blueberry version this reminds me of christmas um, these are very thick, very moisturising, very hydrating, they smell so nice and so fresh. 
Um, this claims to give you moisture for 24 hours. I don't know if it's 24 hours, but it literally, I'm, I don't feel dry at all. When I wear this, I feel so hydrated. I can't say it's 24 hours because I get a shower within 24 hours, so I can't exactly say that, but this is like the best. If you have extremely dry skin, buy this. Onto the makeup products. So the first thing, this is actually something I'm gonna be throwing away. This is this number seven blush in the color 12 coral flush i'm sorry but this does not look like a coral to me this looks like a pink but yeah this this blush i'm gonna be throwing away i haven't even i've hardly ever used it um because it's got a very hard top layer you have to like scratch it off to use the product which annoys me because i don't want to be scratching my products to use them um i've had this for so so long and i never ever like ever reach for this and i know i will never reach for this so i'm going to throw it away because it's so old i wouldn't even give it to anybody the next product is this rimmel lipstick in the color spotlight beige this color was discontinued in the uk and i remember Be beauty crushes beauty crush used to go on about this lipstick all the time and i managed to find it in like a local beauty supply and I literally bought this maybe when I was like 13 and I'm 18 so why would I keep lipstick for like five years if I think about it like five years ago um yeah this is a really really nice color but it smells weird like it's it smells old and I have used a lot of it I don't know if you have to see there but I have used a lot of it but this literally smells old and every time I apply it on my on my lips the smell of it makes me feel sick so definitely throwing that away and you guys know i always get through these eyeliners these are the eyeliners which i swear by this is the primark liquid eyeliner and i get through this just like i get through my gani and my cellar water this is one pound from primark this is what i use on my eyes i swear by this and i love this eyeliner so much i always repurchase i have backups because i don't want to be without it next product is this MUA lipstick. It's just a red, ready, dark red colour, and it's supposed to be like a matte, a matte finish um, in the colour shade one. I literally got into MUA when I was like also 13, maybe 14, and I don't use these lipsticks because I have my matte lipsticks. If I want a red lipstick, I have my new L'Oreal lipsticks, which I love. And I also have my MAC lipstick, which I love even more. Well, equally. I don't reach for this. I haven't reached for this. I won't reach for this. This colour isn't unique in my collection. So I don't feel like I want to buy it. And it looks weird in the pan. Like, it looks greasy. It looks like it's gone off. Like, the lipstick itself looks disgusting. And I will never apply this. And I will never give... I would never gift this to anybody because it's old. Then the next few products are um, face products. So um, the first one is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. It doesn't even look like the LA Girl Pro Concealer because I have used this so much and I had to chop it up um, to get more products because what I find is that if you just throw it away when it's still got the, um, the lid on it and the top bit on it, you still have a lot of product. When I cut it, I had about two weeks worth of product still left in there. So, yeah, but it does dry out quicker if you do chop it. But yeah, I love this concealer. This is one of my holy grail concealers. And I get this off Beauty Giant because it's like one pound, one dollar twenty-five. And I'm gonna be repurchasing this. I bought two, so I have got another one. Um but I think I'm gonna go back and get more of these. The last product I'm gonna be talking about is Be Even Oil Control Foundation, and this is in the color 080. I think it's in the color 080. Yeah, I think it, it definitely is in the color 080. I really, really, really like this foundation. It's a medium to full coverage foundation. I love this. I did a whole review on it, which I will also link in the description. I love this foundation. Um, but, you know, I have repurchased it already, but not in the same colour. But if you want to find out why I haven't repurchased it in the same colour, watch my video where I talk about this foundation. I love it. You can get this from Superdrug. 
and this is like my everyday everyday foundation i love this so much so yeah guys that was my empties these are products which i have finished and i've used up in the last like two months or something um so yeah if you guys have got any questions or anything like that comment below and um, please like and thumbs up this video and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye